Are you making a comic now or at some point in the future? Do you want professional looking speech bubbles? Allow me to show you two ways to do that. One is the method that most professionals use when making speech bubbles in Photoshop and the other is my own personal method, which is also my favorite. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make speech bubbles in Photoshop in two different methods. The first way is what most people would call the proper way, which involves using the shape tool to make an ellipse. And when we make the ellipse, we're going to make sure that it is on a solid line as well as um, the thickness, how thick we want it. Stroke is black and I'm using fill as white. Then what we're going to do is we're going to play around with the shape. So we're going to take the direct selection tool, just kind of modify it a little bit, but I want it to be a bit more different than this. So um, I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to add some anchor points and I'm going to adjust those anchor points with the pen tool. And I'm just going to play around with this because this kind of like can emphasize certain moods that you want to get across with the speech bubble. And I'm also going to add a trailing speech bubble. So a trailing speech bubble is just like a speech bubble attached to this speech bubble. But in order to connect it, I'm going to show you how that is done. So you make a new ellipse, kind of like repeat the process that we just did for the previous speech bubble. Only this time you're going to combine both shape layers into one because every time you make a new shape, it makes a new layer and we want it to be one single element. And of course, if we want a tail for our speech bubble, that has to be part of the shape. So we're not going to use the brush tool to make a tail. We're actually going to use the pen tool, the freeform pen tool to make a shape and attach it to the speech bubble and draw the tail ourselves by freehand. So the freeform pen tool, just draw in the desired shape of the tail that you want. This creates a new shape and just control E to merge that down to the other shape layer as well. But let's say it's in the wrong spot. You can kind of like move it over and select all layers to do that, including the text layers. And if you want to adjust anything, all you have to do is go to that direct selection tool and just like play with the nodes and if you don't like the way that something goes into another of the shapes, just adjust it. That's it. That's all you need to do. Next, I'm going to show you my method of doing speech bubbles, my preferred method. It involves making a new layer and applying the stroke effect to the layer. So for the stroke effect, make sure you have it like not too big. I just use three for this example and I use black as the stroke. Um, and to get to that, that menu, you have to double click your new layer and that's what will bring up the menu. So now you can see I've taken the pencil tool and I've actually drawn myself this pseudo ellipse, I guess you could say, and then I'm erasing parts of it to clean it up a bit. This is my speech bubble. That is how quick my speech bubble was. I'm not a fan of using the, the pencil tool to make the tails though. I actually prefer to make my tails with the lasso tool and then using a fill. So that's what I've done there. And that is how quick and easy it is to do a speech bubble my way, the little Lanan way. So um, in this way, you can just like adjust the size of it. And because the stroke layer automatically adjusts with the resizing, it doesn't really degrade the, um, the quality at all of the speech bubble. So next up, I'm going to do one more example, this time text first. I'm still on that layer that has the stroke effect applied to it. I'm just taking my pencil tool and I'm drawing like a more organic shape underneath of the text layer. Using the lasso tool to fill in a tail. And now I've just used the ellipse marquee tool to make and fill an ellipse. Typing in my typography text sentence, I guess. Um, and I'm just going to play around with this one a bit. I'm going to add some like drippy effects. And this can be nice if you want something to be a bit scary or maybe like a bit insulting because it drips with, I don't know, savageness. <laughs> um, and then like for the tail, you don't always have to use a selection tool. You can play around with using a brush tool or a, or a pencil tool to do it. Um, and it's very, it's very organic. I really like that thin, skinny tail element. Um, the only downside to doing it in this method is that because I'm using one layer, one stroke layer, 
in order to move the speech bubbles, you do have to kind of select them individually and move them that way. Unless you've gone through the pains of making a new layer for every single speech bubble, you do have to do it this way. And then of course, move the text separately. So that's the only thing to keep in mind, but I find it doesn't really bother me so much. Um, I mean, it's worth it really to be able to do things like this where I can make scribbles and have like very emotive scribbly speech bubbles. And yeah, don't forget that you can always cut into the shapes as well. If you don't quite like the way you drew it, you can always edit it with the eraser or the lasso and delete buttons. And yeah, that is my method. Hope it was helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.